I really liked football. So football was football was it was really cool. Yeah. I would definitely relax with football and argue with a lot of my mates here. Yeah. <laughs> but I like to see movies too. Oh, okay. I like to watch movies. I'm not, I'm not the hundred percent going out type. Oh, okay. For some reason. I'll just chill with my friends and just talk about lots of things. Like I love having conversations. It helps me think a lot. Okay. So okay. I would rather do the sit in, watch movies, have some drinks and just talk about things. Oh, okay. Or maybe go to the movies rather than just going out. Oh, okay. okay. Basically. Okay. So I think the first thing I'll say is I like school. Oh, like, you like school? Honestly. <laughs> yes. Like no matter how people try to no matter how people try to look at it, no matter how people try to, sometimes they were coming about school, mm. which I'll join and say, oh, okay, this and this, school is hard and all, but truth is, I actually like school. So please correct me if I'm wrong, you have a first class in, in pharmacy. Yes, from uni- in pharmacy. The pharmacy from Unilad. Yes, yes. Okay. okay, so 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 tell me now in the simplest terms, how did that happen? Like, cause it is a major major achievement, no matter how you want to look at it. Do you understand? So so I want you to summarize it for me now. How did this happen? The first class in pharmacy from Unilad. No big beans here. So how did it happen? Okay, so I think the first thing I'll say is I like school. Oh, like, you like school? Honestly, <laughs> yes. Like, no matter how people try to, no matter how people try to look at it, no matter how people try to, sometimes they were coming about school, mm. which I'll join and say, oh, okay, this and this, school is hard and all, but truth is, I actually like school. Okay. I've always liked school. Yeah, honestly, I remember one time, I told me this story about how, I, there was no day that I woke up and I did not want to go to school. Even weekends, I'm find that, oh, I wanted to go to school and all of that. So, going to school has always been really cool. All through my secondary school, it was blissful. So, getting into the university, it was just, okay, what do they have for me? Learn, learn, <laughs> learn. I, the process of learning has always been so beautiful to me. So, I think that would be the first thing because no matter how smart you are, if you come into school of pharmacy and you're not ready, honestly, it will break you. Oh, okay. It will. You know, there are some people that they will not get, they will try to get medicine and surgery, but they might not get it for like a year or two. So they will be like, okay, pharmacy is the next option. I don't think that is very wise because pharmacy is it's not the easy next option. Pharmacy is a five year course in Unilag. Some other schools is six years. But you need to put your head down to know what you want to do. Pharmacy is not a course that you would be. At least I'm not a business, like a booming business that will take your time. It's not something that you would handle simultaneously with something else that would constantly mm-hmm. share your time. Mm-hmm. You might finish in the amount of year that you're supposed to finish, like five years, but your mm-hmm. grades might not do might not do might not be all that okay pharmacy needs your time and attention to be very selfish for okay i was yeah. waiting for you to say that mm-hmm. i was waiting for you to say that. so mm-hmm. so I, I i heard a couple of things you said now from the fact that you always like school so you've always been an a student yes I. Have. so you've always been an ethical well, yes, actually, yes. I, I like the fact that you're owning these things. That yes, I like school. I yes, like to... <laughs> honestly, it is. It is like my mates have been talking like since we graduated, yeah. getting jobs and all of that. Mm-hmm. And I've been telling my mates I cannot wait to go back to school <laughs> as, as like postgraduate wise. Honestly. Oh, oh okay. So, so you mm. can you can like after the the five years now, like the normal five years course. There are, always, there are also opportunities. So you personally want to go back to school, like for doctorate, masters, and everything. I I would want to start with masters. Okay. I don't know about doctorate yet. But you like school now, so I know that. 
<laughs> yes, but then I have other things I like. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so, so so can I ask why you studied, why you decided to study pharmacy? Because I know, like you said, you said some people they don't get medicine and surgery. Then they decide that okay, you know what, pharmacy is the next thing. We're still in the medical line. So so for you, was that the case, or you always wanted to be a pharmacist? Okay, so if I remember correctly, my parents always wanted me to study medicine and surgery. Let's say my father, yeah, always wanted me to study medicine. And surgery. Is he a doctor? Um. No, he is not. But oh. you know, he just likes everybody wants their child to be a doctor for okay. one reason or the other. Okay. People just for some reason people just they just like the profession. Mm-hmm. They feel like it's very ethical and mm-hmm. put together and commands a lot of respect. Okay. So that was that was the plan. So they've been singing it into my ears all through SS2, the ROGC, mm-hmm. and SS3, the first YYX, feeling my jam for my, my, my father wanted me to go to his alma mater, University of Ibadan. Okay. So, but then in secondary school, I was very good with math, physics, chemistry, further math, geography. Mm-hmm. It was, it was, it was, to me, it was an engineering thing, hands on. Oh. Like, just forget it. But I wanted to honor my father. So <laughs> okay. for jam, for jam, I filled medicine and surgery for Ibadan. Jam result came out, <laughs> shocked everybody. Everybody was shocked. I had like 206, I think. Oh, okay. Which was very, not so good. Okay. And then I wrote post um for UI, mm-hmm. for medicine and surgery. And my result was bad. Oh, okay. I had like 67, and I think the cutoff mark for medicine was 80. It was oh. too wide. Okay. So I was really sad. I was really sad because I thought I wasn't going to get into the university mm-hmm. immediately after I finished secondary school. Okay. But then Unilag does this diploma program there, yeah? mm-hmm. and during the period that I was um. Um, really proud of preparing for diploma. I attended this lesson, and then they brought people to talk to us on one career Thursday mm-hmm, thing. Mm-hmm. They brought this mathematician guy to talk to us, and okay. then this pharmacist lady walked in, and she just blew my mind away, honestly. <laughs> and it was at that point I'm like, okay, let's check this out. Sounds sounds fun. Okay. Though maybe she lied to us a little bit <laughs> then because when I got in, Your I idea. realized that it wasn't as it wasn't it wasn't as beautiful as she kept talking like she kept talking about it. Yeah. Okay. But it was it was at that point. So I talked to my parents about it and they were like, okay, that's what you want to do. Go ahead. Okay. So my diploma from I think pharmacy. I was was scared at the beginning. How would I do it? I know you know Jam does this thing. Jam goes to change. When you don't do so well, you sort of kills your confidence. Yes, yes. So there were people in diploma that knew that they were smart. Okay. But just the fear of failing again mm-hmm. wasn't so good. So diploma was that time that I read like a crazy person. <laughs> Me and my group of friends. <laughs> honestly, we're doing 8 p.m. to 5 a.m. straight. Wow. And wow. it was it was it was it was overwhelming. But wow. our results showed up for it. Mm. We passed so well. Most of my, my guys, we had 16 over 16. How much cut off mark was like 12, but I had 16 over 16. I <laughs> was 16, I think. Wow, okay. So from there, got into pharmacy school. At okay. Yeah, First of all, what was your CGP at the end? My CGP was 4.58. Over, over out five. of five. Wait, wait, your, your CGP of, was 4.58 4. 5. over 5. Yeah. So you even yes. passed the yes, hey, standing innovation, standing innovation. Standing, let, let me give you a standing. What? So four point five eight over five. That means you had eight extra. No, no, no. Four point five eight. Yes. Oh, oh. 
that's 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 what i was trying to imagine man i was trying to imagine wow so so let, let's talk about the you, you've, you've spoken about the fact that pharmacy is not easy and everything but you went unilag and unilag is known as a forgive me now for people that watch this but please unilag has a reputation of a party school people come out academic wise the school does okay but if you ask anybody about it like one thing that comes to mind is the social life and the fact that you're in lagos now so you take advantage of the fact that in lagos you go around but did this did this was this a factor for you the fact that the school was a party school and everything it wasn't right? really no i think that it was you know unilag in Akoka. Yeah. Mm. Very different from Idiaraba. Oh, okay. It was two different. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And this is it had its own thing mm. because in medicine school, uh, medicine mm-hmm. school is two for seven. Oh, okay. So if you want to party all week, mm. if you want to party all weekend, nobody will stop you because you can go out by mm. two a.m. and even mm. come back next week by five a.m. Okay. Nobody stops you. Nobody takes anything to you. I think you need, like they even have like some, I think a certain amount of time. It'd be like twelve a.m. coffee or something. Okay. Maybe from like twelve to five. What Medlag doesn't have any restriction. So do okay. as you like. Okay. But I came into I came into Medlag with this mindset of okay, I'm going to read. Like it was always on my mind that we could get a first class, so just go get it. Th- that's it. That's, that's just how, nothing. That's nothing is going to stop you. You had to go and get that. Nothing response. exactly. Like if you have to read to get. Okay, so you know the way Jam turned down my confidence. That yeah. was exactly what. Exactly how diploma boosted my confidence. Oh, okay. That I can. I, I have seen that if I can settle down and read, the results will always come. Results. So it was come. like, okay, get ready, Kenny. You're doing this. Okay, I, I like I like I like that. Get ready, you're doing this. <laughs> I like <laughs> I like I like that a lot. Okay, so I, I you also talk about and this might be a little bit surprising, but the question I wanted to ask is, uh, knowing all this now, how do you relax and everything? But I feel like I can guess how you relax. You watch a lot of football. Yes, I do. I watch a lot of football. <laughs> I was telling you the World Cup. Oh my God, I watch a lot of football, a lot. Telling us a lot of football, a lot. I seen. I would run home weekend. <laughs> the funny, the funny thing. I have something so far from school, so I'll run home. Weekend. You run on weekends to go and watch football. I didn't football. have a TV. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't have a TV in my room, so I either run home or go to a friend's room to watch football. To watch football, wow. Okay, so for those of you, doing exams like it was that it was it was it wasn't. It wasn't it wasn't the topic. We don't even think about this. We'll be like, oh, okay, I'm reading for five hours. I'll go watch this match two hours, come back three hours, like calculate everything and then go watch football and come back. Ah, wow, wow. The funny thing is, I, you know, we, we, we linked up via Twitter. For most times, yeah. I usually forget your handle. I usually, try, I always try to remember. I always forget it. But anytime I see somebody tweeting football, I'm like, ah, this is game. Now the now the girl where they find it is my ship. Then I see you tweet about this thing. I'm like, ah, it, it looks like two different worlds, man. Someone who's a pharmacist or who studied pharmacy in school and loves football. So it was that the only way you relaxed? Like you wanted to chill out after reading for a while? Was that the only way you had to relax, or the, the closest way, or something? I really liked football. So football was football was. It was really cool, yeah. I would definitely relax with football and argue with a lot of my mates here. Yeah. <laughs> but I like to see movies too. Oh, okay. I like to watch movies. I'm not, I'm not the hundred percent going out type. Oh, okay. For some reason, I'll just chill with my friends and just talk about lots of things. Like I love having conversations. It helps me think a lot. Okay. So okay. I would rather do the sit in watch movies have some dreams and just talk about things oh, okay. or maybe go to the movies rather than just going out oh okay okay Basically. okay oh, okay so did you did you at any point play football 
or you are one of the people that will just sit down and be looking at them and say, This guy know the play. Wait till Boba the play. Boba knows a big passport. <laughs> eh? I did actually. But well, I stopped in like SS school for some health reasons. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, what, what are you up to now? Um, are you serving or are you about to serve or are you doing, are you working or are you doing an internship or what, what, what exactly are you doing now? I just got a job. I was supposed to start in January with M7 Youth Psychiatric Hospital Yapa. Oh, okay. So okay. When you're done with pharmacy, you do um, compulsory one year internship. Okay. And after that, you have to write your exam to get your permanent license. Wait, and after school? That, Wait, hold on. Yeah. Sorry, hold on, Kemi. So after five years that you've written all the exam and you have it in class already, you still do an internship. After that internship, you now write another exam again. Is that what you said? Yes. Ah. Yes, that's what I said. Ah, okay. So you just write one exam. You mm-hmm. pay for the exam and then you write it. And then after that, if you want to do your NYS, you go ahead for one year. And then you can move on with your life. But <laughs> how much is Abby? <laughs> so like that calculating it with NYS, that's like seven years. Seven years. If wow. you graduate at the time that you're supposed to. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, yeah. uh, so can we it is, it is, man. Because I'm looking at it now and like, oh, no, this one thing, But one part of me is like, if you want to stay 10 years in school, stay. Just don't give me the wrong medicine. So if you want to learn all you need to learn, you better learn it now. And <laughs> it's, it's the trilogy. Thank you very much for speaking with me, Kemi. Um, I think this is amazing. Right. Uh, the idea behind um, interviews like this is to let people know, not just people, but students, let them know that this, having a first class is not rocket science you can actually go out and succeed and excel in school and i think you, you, you what you've told me now you've, you've just let everybody know that yes this thing is possible so i can only wish you the very very best of luck so when you when you become thank nigeria's you. minister of health or when you become the head of one of those big big companies please remember that you spoke to one fellow so that his name is abisola <laughs> uh, <laughs> understand i really wish you the very the very very best of luck thank you very much for speaking with me again Thank you very much. And, Thank you um, for this opportunity. Yeah.